All right, okay, here we've got a little girl, a little five-year-old, who wants a haircut. She's had her birthday and she wants a haircut. How short do you want it? Um, just near my neck. Just near your neck. So we're looking for above the shoulders, yeah? Sitting on your neck. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You'll be a big girl. So she's got absolutely gorgeous hair at the moment. And we're going to say goodbye to it, aren't we? No. But it will grow again, won't it? Yeah. That's the main thing. It will grow again. She's got lovely long hair at the moment. She's got layers in it as well. But she wants to chop. So I will give her the chop. We ready for this? Yeah. Right, okay, so we've got this lovely long hair and I could go ahead and wash it straight away but what I'll probably do is I will cut off the bulk that we don't need ready to wash it. Put your head down for me, always, no, other way. Always put the head down because you'll find if you put the head, especially backwards, you'll end up cutting more off than needed in the first place. So I'm just going to take the bulk off here. So she wants it on her shoulders which are here. No, not my shoulder, my neck. On your neck, so you want it even higher. Okay, so head down, look down. And I'm just going to cut the bulk off. Keep still. And then we can wash it. Oh no, it's all going. No crying on this. I see scissors. Yeah. So that there yeah. is the bulk on the floor and now she's got a little shorter hair already. Oh no, look at you, you look all grown up. All grown up. So you still want it shorter? Oh, it's a big thing now. Do you still want it shorter? You sure? Right, what would... Just a little bit, just um, the bottom bit. Just the bottom bit shorter? Yeah. Yeah? So what we'll do is we'll wash her hair now and then we will section it and get it ready to yeah. cut properly, yeah? Yeah. Good. So as you can see, I've sectioned the hair. I've gone, um, I've taken a section here and I've gone a horizontal line from both ears and straight down the middle on top. On top of the head as well is a straight parting and I've just secured this bits with clips. These front sections I have just twisted. So, she wants it on her neck so we're gonna cut it. I don't wanna cut it too short. Right, look down for me and make sure the eyes are looking down because it changes the posture of the head. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to move the gown out of the way so I don't cut that. Right. Now I'm going to put my finger there to keep tension. Keep looking down for me. And both on the left and the right, I'm just going to take it a little bit longer so it's not dead straight. Keep looking down for me. Just double check that. This is the guideline. That's important that you get this right because everything else will follow. Right, head up for me. Right. I'll just check it while her head's up as well. Because that's how you hold your head. And then the points left and right should be the same. The side's a bit longer. So we've cut it on her neck. It's on your neck. <coughs> Next section down. Next. 
So we're going to do exactly the same now. Dead straight lines. Okay. And we're going to meet the guidelines. So the very first haircut that I just did underneath. Head down again. Look down with your eyes. That's it. We're going to meet it. I don't want to cut it shorter. I don't want to cut it longer. It's got to be exactly the same. If you can't see your guideline through the hair, like I can see that, that means your section is too thick. Sometimes the hair is thick, so you need to take thinner sections anyway. Head down for me again. This bit on, on the left, obviously I can't lean on her neck because there's no neck there, so I'll just hold it with my fingers. Look down again. I can tell every time her eyes come up because her head changes. Yet again here, head down. Head down, head down, I can see. You might think it's funny, but you'll get a wonky haircut. Head down, head down. Now you've got to be very good for me now. Whoa, nice and short. Right, so we've got another couple of sections to do. Just join them bits together. There we go. Right, head down for me. Look down again, I can see. Keep dead still yet again. Make sure you can see your guideline and cut it straight. Now my finger is still on the head to give it tension, but obviously at the sides here I can just hold the hair and cut it into my hands. Checking your points are immaculate. And last section now. So this was four sections on the back. She's got an awful lot of fine hair. Head down again for me. Stay still. And then she's playing with that ear roll. That's it. Head down, that's it. And when you tilt the head forward, it gets rid of graduation which is like an underlayer of hair. Make sure the head's straight. Make sure the legs aren't crossed as well. Mama, no, it's all right, head down for me. And that's the last bit of the back section. Making sure left and right are the same. I do feel quite even. I'll just check. Right, now I'm going to move on to a side bit. So I want you to tilt your head to the side like you're going to sleep. <laughs> now, over here, if I comb the hair down to the side behind mm. the ear, I yeah. should be able to check it yeah. and it should be straight. Now, if this is straight, uh, 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 this is good. So I'm going to take a little section here. I could have taken it as whole, but some pe some people have to pick hair. So tilt your head over. I'm just going to angle this slightly down because she's got an ear here, which will give a bounce over the ear. So I'm going to just angle it it's a bit more trendy as well to have it a bit longer at the front, even if she's a five-year-old. Right, head over again for me, thank you. Yet again, any long bits over the guideline. I'm 
bring that front bit back to meet. So there we go. Got one side done. Got to do the other side. Just make sure, head up for me. Make sure it's all perfect. Just going to freehand off little bits there. But that should look fine. And we'll just repeat the same to the last section now. Over here. And then we're finished. And then we're finished. <laughs> and then we blow dry it. Head over to the side yet again, check, check the back, make sure that is straight, and then continue forward. Making it a little bit longer. I would always make my second set side longer naturally, just to ensure that I um, haven't taken it shorter than the other side. Head over again slightly. Moving the head over will get rid of the graduation. <laughs> What's the graduation? Graduation's the hair underneath that we don't want to see. Bring this front bit back to meet it. And there we go, just taking away the last little bits. So it's less than a 10 minute haircut there. Checking both sides, left and right. This is a centre parting, so she can have it any side she wants. Right, let's just come round the back and check the balance. Keep your head still. So that looks kind of nice as it is. We've got the fill-on haircut there. And if you face me, there we go. We're just going to blow dry it and we'll show you the finished look. And this is the finished look. We spin her around. Smile. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, but I have enough.